Hi Eric. Hi Murray. How are you? Pretty good. You've been pretty busy here. You've been one of our volunteers, haven't you? Yeah, yes. Got doing a lot of... Drive the truck. And... Yeah, so I've seen you going in and out doing stuff. So, apart from that, have you got value out of being here? Oh, um, uh, more more than I could even explain. Is that it's, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, we've had value having you here, Eric. And I just want to say thanks from the team of all the stuff you've done, you know. It doesn't go unnoticed, that's for sure. So I'm glad you've come from all sorts of reasons because you know it's been a, ma a major job actually shuttling people between the venues and picking people up at the airport and yeah so you know you've played a major role in that thanks very much yeah well uh, you guys had it organized uh, very well yeah Cosmo and and Jeff have just been weeks and weeks you know working out who goes here at that time and who goes there at that time so and it's not over yet we've got to get everyone back to the airport yet haven't we yeah yeah all, yeah. all the, the pre-planning I mean you can see it yeah you can see it in your operation yeah I'm glad you can see that because Cosmo and the boys have really put a lot of work in. Mm. So, for you, talking about the training itself, what have you gained? Have you gained something particularly out of it that's going to be useful to you? I uh, like in particular, in fact, i got to go back and uh, redo my greenhouse now. Um, oh, no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, the uh, system you described with the water up yeah. on top and stuff like that uh, just makes perfect sense. I'm not going to make something that big. It's going to be yeah. on a lot smaller scale. Oh, it works on any, any scale, yeah. But um, uh, having the water up at the top of the greenhouse where it gets nice and warm makes yeah. sense. And so same yeah. thing with the plumbing, you know. So. Don't be afraid to email if you if you need some, you know, bit of extra help, that's for sure. So you, you've you got some good stuff out of the building side of the talks then? All the way around. Yeah, Everything. that was good. Pedro for president. That was good of his his talk about his farm, wasn't it? That great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's terrific. So. Value for money. Did you think the training was value for money? Oh, it's worth more than the money. <sighs> good. I, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I can't thank you enough, man. It's like... <laughs> no, that's good, yeah. Yeah, it, a lot of people are saying that. So we're, we were obviously concerned about that uh, in planning this thing because look at the venue. You know, it costs bucket loads to hire this place, as you can imagine. And um, so we're worried that people would feel they got value for money. And the food, what about the food? <laughs> The food, the food was worth the money by itself. Yeah, I might have to buy an extra plane seat on the way home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, no, that was you know, what, what, what drew you to come to aquaponics? What, why are you interested in aquaponics? Basically, um, I have a friend that had mentioned something about that he was doing it. Sounded interesting. Um, got online, found your videos, yeah. um, your website and stuff like that. Started reading up on it and said, this is, this is what I want to do. Amazing. So I used to live um, right down the hill here in San Jose, mm -hmm. and recently moved up into Sierra Foothills. Oh, and okay, cold we get country. Snow, nice and cold. Um, so there's there's challenges and stuff, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. Oh, I'm, good. I'm meeting them. So, so. yeah, one. Well, it, challenges make it more interesting, I think. And the good part about aquaponics is that you can do it anywhere, really, can't you? Yeah, you, you can. Know? We saw some pretty amazing greenhouse designs last night, actually, and um, really interesting stuff. So okay, that's uh, so your action plan when you go home is to change your greenhouse. I'm sorry about that. I got to build a, a new water tower right off the bat. Oh, okay, there you so. go. So it's going to create work. So that's good, Eric. And um, to spread the message around about people, you know, about aquaponics to people, how do you see that being done from your perspective? What 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 can we do about that? Oh, to spread the word around about it. Yeah, do you think that's our job, government job, somebody else's job? Whose job is it to get the word out? Nobody else is going to do it except for us. Except the ordinary people, grassroots level. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's the way I see it too. But as soon as you go to sell your vegetables, you can't help but spread the word around. That's right. And yeah. after you get as excited as everybody here is, yeah. um, you can't go home and just keep your mouth shut. No. And look, you know what I find so great about it? You know, I've done a few things in my lifetime, and the, the good part about this is you've got a product that people actually thank you for after they buy it. You yeah. Know, when you sell them some veggies, they actually come back and thank you for it. Not like selling second-hand cars or something, you know, where they come back to try and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a great thing to be able to do, isn't it? Wonderful thing to be able no, to do. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, very important. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thanks and a lot. Once again, thank you particularly for what you've done for the, your contribution to the seminar. Oh, it's been really great. It was a drop in the bucket. Yeah, so. no, really very important. Thanks, Eric. Thanks.